<laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah, it was a long night. Yeah. I wonder why the Marcuses left early. I don't know. I heard Fred lost his job. Will you be home for dinner? I should be home in time, yeah. Go. Have a lovely day. Thanks. You too. There has been a death recently of a man age 45 and six feet tall with dark hair. His son said that he left for work that day, Monday, April 4th, 1957, and never came back. His body was found in a car by a shop owner two days later. Cause of death? Victim bleeding out from a cracked skull. A witness said he saw two men walk into the alley on Monday possible two suspects. Another death has occurred. This time, it was the first victim's son. The two deaths seemed to be related. The first victim was the man I had an affair with 20 years ago. The boy is my bastard son. My son, male in his 20s, was found in an alley with a cracked skull. Suspect number one is a tall man around 5'11". Henry is in his mid-40s. He has been seen walking on Henderson Street during the day, several blocks away from his office. He seems to be hiding things from his wife. Suspect one has become my primary suspect because he has been seen meeting with several people in suspicious places. Honey, I'm home. How's dinner? It's very good, dear. How was work? I would say it was a success. I'm gonna turn off the light. Okay. Do you mind picking up the order from the pharmacy on your way home today? Sure, I can do that. Thank you. Well, I'm better get going. I hope you have a good day at work. Have a good day. Henry primary suspect, has a strong motive for killing. Possibly killing his wife's past lover and bastard child. Next possible victim is the suspect's wife. Due to the immediate danger I may be in, I've decided to abandon pursuing the leads and to flee on the next train out of Ashland. I have my ticket and enough money for a few months. Because of this, this will be my last journal entry. Ma'am, I'm gonna have your ticket and baggage, please. Yes, please, thank you. Henry! No! 